Yo ho ho, it's Mario and Vladimir Z for Super Mario Sunshine LP. Today we're headed back to the Bay of Noki. And remember this guy. The ruthless skinny pianta who rips the faces off his victims of who he races. Yes, that Pianta will never make that mistake again, because he's missing a face. It's kind of hard to run when you don't have face to be seeing where you're going. Oh, you think we're foolish? Didn't we kick your ass last time? Now, the title of this is Surf Swim. Now, we don't have a surfboard and I forgot to bring my swim trunks, so the best way to do this is to completely cheat and use the hover nozzle. It's not cheating though, it's what the game really intends for you to do. Or at least I think it does. It's the easiest way to get over there. They try to make it a little difficult because, oh look, now you're in the water but only for like two seconds. And already we're at the flag. I think this challenge was easier than the first one. At least when we were on Gelato Beach, we were on even ground. There's no way you are going to swim faster than I can hover. Fool, now who's the real fool, you tool? Give me that shine sprite. I don't want to race you again, you're too slow for me. Yes, but I always thought this mission was a big cheat. It says surf swim. What they should do is take your hover nozzle away and see who could do better platforming and swimming, but eh, I cannot complain. We get the shinies all good with me. Ooh, that shell, it's glowing. I bet there's some goodies in there. Let's go say. Okay, I don't care about the blue coin out there. We care about secrets, though. But not super secrets that require me to go back through a level a second time. Oh no, I don't care about those secrets. Those are the undesirable secrets. These are the main missions though, it makes you feel like you do something special only for selecting the I'm going to play this mission button. Which is, hey, damn it. Okay, jump fail for me. Let's get back up there. I wonder what happened to the eel. If he's still down there, or did he go start an eel community? I don't know, but his states are clean. This is good. He's not mucking up the bay anymore. Okay, so stay on the bouncy wire. Yes, come on. I did not want to smack into that and fall off. Of this bounce wire. Okay, there's two ways to go. I think this is the proper way to get up to the shell secret. I think the other way is a misdirection. It sends you in, uh, sends you to that spirally shell. I think the most you find up there, Meb. I'm not sure. I'm not go up there in a long time. Is uh, is blue coin. But I can't be sure, you know, I not go up to that show very much times, because it's, it's useless, it's got no secrets to it. It's not like this hermit crab shell that has good secrets within. And oh, surprise, can never do secret mission with Flood. Unless it's the secret, secret mission, in which you play secret mission a second time, except this time with Flood, or next time with Flood, and uh... You got to get red coins. So we are tools in someone's toolbox, I, I assume. It's very funny how these levels are like gigantic construction sites that are colorful. They've got nails jutting out everywhere. Doesn't anybody know about construction safety? Here, I helped them out. I, I hammer some of these nails for them. Oh, careful Mario. Do not need to go over to the edge. This may look like galaxy, but it is no galaxy. We will plummet to the bottom. Okay, so this is maybe a little bit difficult to jump, but not too bad. 
You have to get up there with the back flip and the wall jump combo. Now we're starting to see the Sakurats using more advanced jumping techniques. But, uh, you know, it's, it's easy. It's just going back and forth on the toggly stick until you run into wall and then boing, bounce off. Like the wall was made of some kind of trampoline material. Okay, I'm going to try and surpass all of these annoying red arrow stuffs. Because I believe it will send you plummeting to the bottom if you do not constantly walk up straight. And you got to do it in a specific way that I don't feel like doing, so... Oh, so close. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have to spring and spin. How you like that, huh? I don't normally like using those kind of helicopter moves only because uh, he can be an unpredictable move. He can sometimes not go as high as I desire. Sometimes it just uh, send me in the wrong direction. He's got troubles controlling the helicopter jump. Oh, oh I hear that. See, you, you have no prediction about... Oh my goodness! Oh, Mario, that was so close. This is why we don't do that jump, okay? You see, it make me crazy. I don't think that we have enough distance to get... Maybe we do. I'm nervous about that hole in the ground. I think it will let us fall to the bottom of this world. And call that a game over. Although I haven't lost a life in a while, so I just lose one life and not so bad. But it would be so bad. Okay. Up we go, Mario. I need you to turn. Yes, that is what I want. Phew. He did it once perfectly. As if he is controlling himself, you know. It's not like I'm pushing the buttons or anything. Yes, but... Uh, Okay, I think what the game wanted you to do is probably jump over that kill, that uh, that gap. It's going to say cliff, but it's not much of a cliff. It's more of a pitfall trap. And then you bounce off the wall to get up there. But I like my maneuver better just because I did not have to go over any scary hole. Oh, and also refrain the desire to want to uh, do triple jumps on those spinning things. Sometimes I've done this before too, is why I warned, because it is it's tempting, why not? Why not do triple jump? We get there sooner, no? But, you know, I do the triple jump on one of those and... I jump past what was good, I jump where there was no more uh, land to be had, no more jump space to be jumping on. And this, you just want to jump towards what is spinning, so you don't want to jump in the opposite direction, because that does not make sense. It does not physically make any sense. We'll go for this one. No need to... S Whoa, there we go. No need to have a false jump. Man, it's too bad Monty Mole's not on our side. He could have burrowed on through this wooden block, so we could walk through the center of it safely. Then again, every time we meet that bastard, all he does is throw bombs at us. I am much doubting he would want to take the time to help us out. Oh, look at who it is! He said, oh, wait a second, I thought I set a mole up here. He probably got to this island and said, oh, well, half my work is already done, this place is as dirty as... Uh, the Staten Island dump. So I don't have to uh, do as much graffiti here. I'll paint some things on the walls, but that's all. No need to really go overboard with my evil paintbrush of sludgy diuretic doom. Yep, that. Uh, I wonder if he knew about the the old the eel guy. I wonder if he maybe gave him the cavity. Imagine that, Shadow Mario going to the bottom of this sea just to paint some eel's teeth. I don't know, it's possible. Shadow Mario's evil kind of guy. He's not even the guy he say he is. He says he's Shadow Mario, he's impersonating me, but he's actually Baby Bowser. 
Bells or Junior or whatever. Oh, you tricked me. Psyched me out with that stupid jump. Alright, where did you run to? I think he's still up there. It keeps psyching me out. But this is probably one of the more challenging Shadow Mario runs. Oh, I did not want to fall off all the way. Oh, he's not down here, though. Where is that bastard? Well, I might as well get the water refill while I'm here. Um. Well, I know he's not over here. That is for certain. I'm pretty sure he just runs along the cliffside. But this is definitely most difficult Shadow Mario run because he's got more places to hop up to. Before I thought that Wreck Harbor was a trouble, but that was before I tried to do the maneuver where we stay in one place and just continuously first person, not really, you know, pseudo first person, uh, shoot him with the water cannon. Uh, that worked out better than I expected, but this is a bit more tricky. You've got not a lot of scope in shooting him, you've got cliffs blocking your path. He's very much better at doing the regular jumps. Aha, there you are, and the spin jump even mastered. Uh, but we have been, uh, I suppose you could say, handicapped. Uh, and we did it to ourselves, you know, it's nobody to blame but us. But, uh, you know, we handicap our jumping by using the flood all the time. Whoa, in the mountain there. Okay, I can't re-break the mountain. Where did he jump to? He better be down here all the way. I don't want him to make half jumps. He tricked me more. There he is. The bastard. Oh. Oh, look at that. We beat him just by running into him while being wet. Oh, that is funny. It was not even our flood, but the puddle. Well, thank you, puddle of the cliffside. It approximately takes one run up and down the mountain to destroy him. And uh, if you got the puddle on your side, I mean, hey, I'll accept any help from anything. The red coin fish. So, the way that they thank me for helping out their entire bay, their way of life, their civilization, is by making me put on this stupid helmet again and forcing me to go underwater. Oh, yeah, I did not hope to do this. I was thinking maybe they would reward... No! They would reward me with a larger jumping place, like a new part of the cliff that I did not see that I could spray with my nozzle and do some cool platforming. But no, this is Mario. Why would we have platforming? Fact that. No, we want to swim like a Dipset Diver. There already was a game on the Wii. I think it's... I don't remember what it's called. It was a forgettable game. But it was basically that. You just went around and swam everywhere that you could swim, you saw new animals and things. So, I mean, if you're into that, this is good. that's good game for it. But this is not Undersea Diver, or whatever the fact that game was called. This is Mario. Sunshine, not even uh, Coral Reef. Okay, it would be a different story if it was Mario Sea Archer. You know, where you got to go around, collect as many sea urchins as you can under the sea. But no, it is sunshine, meaning I want to be out on the beach, relaxing or platforming in the fun area. Not do this crappy dive. Ah, oh, it's right, I forget. Old men stand on this ledge all the time. Okay, so you think you're giving me a treasure, but you don't know you're giving me a pain in my backside. Dive! You do that dive maneuver by pressing the B button while all your way down. Oh, look at this. Aren't these shell pebbles cool? They can live under the water without wearing this stupid headgear. It's not really the helmet that is pissing me off, more as uh, the flood. I don't even know if we go under the water regularly. Oh, perfect! Let's get it. Oh, we got half of the coins in one. 
collection of the fish. Not sure if Flood normally acts this way underwater. Almost. This might be easier than I thought. Oh great, he's wiggling around in the way. When the red coin fish is all wiggly jiggly like that, you know for sure he's going to spew the coins all over the place and later reconnect them like he's doing here. So, if you can get as lucky as I have and collect the majority of the coins, then do so. But try and leave an outline a little bit of the gold coin fish. Because, uh, you know, you won't understand when it's gonna scatter the coins. Just throw some all over the place. And some of them, I believe, like I saw one, there it is again, can face through the walls. Can completely defy physics, but that is fine for this game, right? Yeah, red coins don't tend to uh, pay attention much to physics. It's like the red coins in the core ref. They go through the rocks, not around them. Oh, we're so close. No damn it, fishy! Oh, he sent it straight through the rock. This is annoying. Come on, Mario. Get the last coin. I don't even know where the fish went. Damn it. There he is. There he is. No bad big fishy! Whew. Okay, go ahead. Big mouth bass, take me down to the bottom of the sea. Yeah, you're too slow to catch me. No good. So that is the last of the Noki Bay adventures. Meh, I don't know. This place look really cool, but uh, I don't like these swimming missions, they're very obnoxious. I rather do actually blooper gooper surfing, believe it or not. I think it's better than controlling the flood haphazardly underwater. So I see you in new area.